Welcome to the Jayco Jayfeather Micro 166 FBS. This little 19 foot 7 inch cutie is a couple's sweetheart getaway. Sweetheart how? Well, I mean, number one, look at the decor, bright with some beautiful gray accents. And look at that couch, big enough to sleep somebody, which by the way, you can sleep three in here. Even got these adorable little cup holder end tables like that. And yes, how about drawer storage under the couch? Very nice feature, but more importantly, looks a lot cleaner. Up top, got nice cabinets, side opening too, so you don't have to worry about holding them up or hitting your head. Really like that. Hideaway hinges in there. And nestled in that slide right behind the couch is not only your table, but a huge window with the blackout shade. Up front is going to be what you you know what we call the master. You got the queen size bed going east to west, nestled in the front cap, whitewashed, almost like a barn decor. But over here on the off camp side, you got a little shelf with pop up power station, and yes, that's one of the where you just lay it on there. The wireless charging, love it. Now you got windows on both sides, so wherever you put your head. Uh, you can either get breeze on your head or your toes. I just like how we have it on both sides and storage underneath. I'm used to seeing the bed lift up, but not nice drawers. Up above your head is a max vent fan. That'll help move the hot air out while the AC blows the cool air in. And check out this entertainment center. Yes, that little handle right there opens the TV up. You got storage back behind it, plus the two drawers. Really kind of maximizing the space and the flow. Flush mount, Furion microwave, as well as hood. Like that backsplash and the press surface countertop on the kitchen. And how about flush mounted three burner cooktop with 16 inch oven. Gives you good space for prep, but also for cooking. Of course, since it's Jayco, you're going to get tons of storage. They're not going to skip on maximizing your space. Now, space, you can have a little tiny sink right here with the high rise faucet, but I think that's kind of cute for a couple. You're not going to have anything tiny in that oversized 12 volt fridge. That is the Everchill. It's frost resistant, 10.7 cubic feet. Just look at the beautiful door as we walk into the off camp rear bathroom. Boom. I like how they added that shelf right there with the hangers. Got the neo angled shower with the matte black features. Got the mirrored medicine cabinet. Got my little shower curtain. Got the vanity sink right there with storage underneath and the porcelain bowl with the foot flush. And don't forget, you got a tankless water heater in this bad boy too, so you'll be able to get some nice hot showers pretty quick. All in all, great space for an active couple that wants some creature comforts of home. Solid steps will take you outside where you get to see the glossy fiberglass exterior. Now, that also serves a purpose. You got climate shield on this, temperature rated zero to 100 degrees. Up front, got that seamless roof, got that nice diamond plated rock guard, power tongue jack, 20 pound LP tanks, and the blue LED running lights. I do kind of like that. At first, I got to tell you, I wasn't crazy about it. But now I look at them more, I like them. Rails for your battery. Jayco does a good job giving you side camera prep too. I really like that. Now, you pass through storage, wide door, it is lit. And right there, you got the mounting bar and plate for your outside kitchen, which mounts over near the tire. I'll show you that here in a minute. But check out the magnet clasp. Holds everything together. Now, what is this little door? Okay. That Oh, that's a nice storage space. Plus, I got a 110 outlet. So if I want to set up a TV or something like that, plug in my cell phone, I absolutely can. Like that inclusion because it's covered from the elements. TV bracket, freshwater fill, LP quick connect right beside that bracket I was talking about for the bar and plate for your external kitchen. And check out the blue lights over your Goodyear tire and those blacked out aluminum rims. Man, that looks pretty sweet. Clean, but also looks rugged. Cable Prep, plug, power, water fill, there you go. Looking good. Just a nice under 20-foot coach. I mean, if you think about it, it'll sleep up to three 16-inch Goodyear tires. On the back, you got a ladder mounted, backup camera prep, spare tire, plus you got stabilizer jacks. I mean, a temperature rated 0 to 100 degrees for a camper that's not even 20 feet. I got to tell you, that's that's actually pretty good. Come around to the off-camp side, and that's where we see our buddy Ian. Oh, hey, Ian. All right, you got your power plug, 
terminations. Now, your tanks on this one, how about 55-gallon fresh, 30 gray, 30 black? Very nice on the sizes. Other side of your pass-through storage, and, of course, the info plate. This is always, for me, one of the most important things to check. Tells you how much the RV weighs. For example, this one weighs 38.95 dry, and you're still under 5,000 pounds gross. So for a coach, it's 19 feet, 7 inches for the couple. That's pretty sweet. And, of course, backup and side camera prep. 19 feet, 7 inches, 38.95 dry, can sleep up to 3. The Jayco Jayfeather Micro 166 FPS, couple sweetheart vacation getaway, and you can pick it up today at your local Camping World.